Cat gang! Come on, pipe! Frosty morning today. Get some animal chores in and I got a full day of packing up for winter. I got this mess to clean up. Won't be too long and that truck will be a morning occurrence probably. So the cows will probably be upset I'm late for breakfast and my day off so I'm sleeping in a little bit. Check how things look. Well, they've been able to push the ice open this morning. That's good. Everybody is out checking for stuff. I'm sure they'll come running. Cats are under my feet all morning until I give them some food and tell them they need to go catch a mouse. They have differing opinions on that. So. Some cow food. Now this is hay that I bought and trucked to the farm here when we bought the cow and her two calves. You can see here up in the front there's the little Holstein bull calf and uh, then up on the hilltop there's the shorthorn bull calf and then strawberry is the one kind of in the middle, the white and the red. Um, we bought her from a family friend was looking to thin down her herd and she gave us a good deal. Um, we were kind of on the fence about buying a cow this time of year even though we wanted one just because this is the time of year you got to feed them. But the price was good enough that I could buy hay and still feel like I was getting a good deal on it. So these round bales ran me, uh, I think 60 bucks I paid for them. Got six of them. Uh, and they're about a thousand pounds a piece. So three tons of hay. And uh, I figure that's about what I needed for another cow. So. <sighs> Check my preview. This whole thing's new to me. Cool, still working. Testing out this new GoPro. Uh, well, it's not new. It's a, an older model, borrowed from my dad. See whether I like this uh, video making stuff. I used to make a lot of videos back when I was in high school and college for a church group I was in. And I really enjoyed it back then. That was a lot of uh, scripted, uh, you know, like uh, plays. I don't know what you call that, I guess. Um, that w we worked on, but. So I've got a little bit of video editing experience. It'll be interesting to see where that's come since then. All right, I think one more fork load and then we'll have to haul some water. So.
I've been dealing with a leaky hydrant. We've only got one hydrant out in the yard. Well, it's not even in the yard, it's in the chicken coop. Uh, and so I've got to turn the water off uh, in the well in the house when I'm done using it. And I just realized I forgot to turn it on. So I guess I'll have to go in and do that, strip my boots off before I can uh, haul water. They got a, a good amount. Maybe I'll wait. My, one of my projects for today is to build up underneath this water tank. You can see it's running downhill from the ice. Um, I've got some leftover cinder blocks and flats uh, from when we built the house. Then I'm just gonna kind of build that up uh, so we can fill it up all the way. You can see it's quite downhill, so. Uh, maybe it'd be better if I didn't fill it up because I'm gonna end up scooping it out and cleaning it today anyways, banging the ice off. So, yeah, I think we'll probably call that good. I'm sure they'll be around for breakfast soon. So, over here you can see the other project I'm working on. I'm bringing a power line down from the power pole up on the hill. Uh, and putting power in this shed. Uh, something I've always wanted to do, but it's something I expedited and started a week ago before the snow hit, because uh, I want to be able to put a de-icer in the cattle tank so I don't have to chip as much ice, and the cows can have better access to water. Right now I break ice in the morning and I fill it up, and then I break ice in the afternoon and fill it up, and so they've only kind of got on the really cold days at least, a uh, limited amount of time. Um, but actually, while I'm over here, I'll show you guys. One of the things I'm trying is these uh, two liter bottles, and they're full of um, salt water. Basically as much salt as that water will soak up and they float around in here. Uh, and the idea is that as the ice starts to make a skin on the water, the cows can come and push on those and it helps kind of make a, a pilot hole for them to be able to break through. Um, it doesn't stop the water from freezing, but having that in there definitely seems to slow down the, the process of getting that thick skin because uh, they can push them around, especially if it's windy and they're moving around in there. Uh, they, that seems to help some, so. I was really surprised, I was skeptical when I tried it, but I figured it couldn't hurt any. Um, had a couple of Coke bottles in the recycling, and um, something I'll probably leave in, even after we put the um, de-icer in, because once we hit mid-January and we're seeing like minus 20 Fahrenheit, chances are there's still gonna be some ice skim uh, even with a tank de-icer, so. Um, I also intend, when we do that, we're gonna switch out from this metal tank to a, a rubber tank, and then I'm gonna wrap it in some insulation and cover part of it so that um, the water will be a heat mass. You know, there'll still be about 100 gallons of water, but um, it'll have a little bit more protection from the cold, so. That's my plan. I gotta get that power line done. Hopefully, in the next day or two, I'll get the boxes in. I have to defrost some ground up on the pole end for the conduit. Um, I dug a, the trench up there, and unfortunately, I misinterpreted where the, the conduit needed to go down into the ground. So, I got some digging to do, so. All right. Well, that's all I've got to share today. The cat gang needs some cat food, so I'll head off and do that, and I'll catch up with you guys later.